だけどね。Hi there, people.、Um, in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make rollover images using、um, Dreamweaver. And what rollover images are is when you on the internet. If I just show you now, go on my website. And rollover image is very good always to have, and it just looks like there's something to go there. And if you roll over it, as you can see, brightens up or whatever changes color, adds a glow to the side of it. And it always looks good to have. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to make this, and it's pretty easy. So you're going to want to create a button,、um, a web button, or whatever you want to make.、Um, it's up to you. It really, is up to you. And、um, I've made this one out with a tutorial on how to make a.、Um, I think it's a glossy web button. And yeah, so I've made this button. It's the exact same. And then I've also created on the exact same. Size because you always want to have it on the same size. I've changed the colour of the text to a grey, and I've added a black stroke around the edge. So normal rollover, and it's always good to have. And you know the, these rollover images, it's like there's some in there. If you just have the image like this and it just shows a little hand coming up, you don't think there's anything there. But as soon as you roll over it, you know it's obviously going to be linked to something. So. Once you've got your image,、uh, make sure you save it into your、uh, what is it your your images folder in your local root folder, and there is a tutorial on that if you haven't done that. And when we left off in the last tutorial,、uh, we did a template. And if I just open up my index, as you can see, we made this template, and so we can edit all these. And I'll show you a couple of things. But I'm just going to go to the main information. Just hit enter or return twice. And now you're going to want to make sure you have this here, and you want to go to Window, and it'll be Insert Control Plus F2 if you want to insert that. Make your oh sorry, make sure you're on the Common tab. It might be on someone else. Make sure it's on Common, and then you'll come up with a load of these things. And I think in CSM3, it's like across the top here when you insert it, but I think it should be the exact same. But when you come to this Common tag、uh, tab, sorry. It'll look like an image folder like this, like a little image thing. If you click the little down arrow, we can、um, add a rollover image. So once you click that, it'll bring up this information, and it's going to say image name, and it's going to be whatever you want it to be called. And for this, I've named the button home, so I'll make the home button, or image name home, and then it'll ask for your original image. And that was the one that I haven't applied anything to. So if I go to browse, there it is there. And I've named these home and home over, just so I know which one's which. And I'm going to click OK on home. So now we have it in there. And the rollover image is obviously the one that we change the color to and whatever. So I'm going to hit browse and hit the rollover image, this one here. And as you can see here, they're both the exact same size,、um, both PNG files, both the exact same. So I'm gonna hit OK. Make sure you've the, the little box is ticked for preload rollover image because if you don't have that, it doesn't really load properly on the、um, internet. So you want to make sure that's clicked on every single one. And then alternative text, you can just write home again. It's just so when it's loading up, people know what it's loading it up, and they don't, you know, they might think it's so dodgy, but it's just telling them that you click this and it'll take you to the home page. And then, when clicked, go to URL. Now,、um, yeah. So you want to hit browse, and this can be anything. You can you could type in a, a you know actual website name, whatever thing you anything you want to do. But for this, I need to go back to the index. So if I hit browse, and I'm going to choose index, and it's this little Firefox symbol. Hit OK. So now we have all the information. Make sure your information is right. And I'm going to click OK. And as you can see now, we've got this nice web button popped up here. And、um, there's a lot of stuff you can you can do to this. You can you can center it out, put it on the right, put it on the left.、Um, with width and height, I think this is or something else. But you can move these around so、um, that one will take you up or down, and this one will take you side and across. So I don't know if that's right. But there's a lot of stuff you can do. And to this,、um, you can link it up to something. Uh, even though it already is,、um, you can target it as a blank page. So when I hit home, it takes it to a blank page instead of take. You know, you know what I mean. I've already gone over that, but 
So if I go to the glow, I'll just return so we just have a bit below this so we can see what we're working with. If I go to the globe here, I'm going to check, um, ugh, click preview in Firefox. It'll ask you to save your changes, you'll have to do that, otherwise you won't be able to see this. So now we have this little home button here and in the template that we made here, when we roll over these we've made rollover images on this and I showed you that was just a simple step, but that's with text. But with images, as you can see when I roll over it now, it changes colour and it's like there's something there that needs to be clicked. With that one there, um, as you can see it just looks like a little hand comes up and you know, you know that's a link but it's not as, as good as when you roll over an image like this. So you can do this with anything and it always looks good to have and yeah, so I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. It's a very easy tutorial um, and I think you shouldn't have any problems with it. So I um, hope you subscribe. Need any tr problems? Comment me, uh, message me, sorry. Yeah, thanks guys.